Imagine this, a loved one who has been lost in the fog of Alzheimer's for years, suddenly in their final moments, looks at you with clear eyes. They remember everything that was forgotten, such as shared experiences, inside jokes, and even your nickname. Miraculously, when they're about to die, they remember their life. This isn't a scene from a movie, but a real life phenomenon known as terminal lucidity. It's a mysterious return of mental clarity and memory that occurs right before death even in patients with severe neurological problems. What's truly amazing is that this isn't just waking up and remembering things from a long time ago. It's more than that, often described as the old self emerging. Family members report that it's as if, for a brief moment, the fog of their loved one's condition lifts and they can recognize the world around them again. Now you might be thinking, no way is this true. The brain is destroyed at that point, right? How can it come back to normal? But waking up like this is fairly common. In fact, some researchers suggest that these flashes of lucidity should be seen as part of the dying experience and not rare, isolated events. Terminal lucidity is an important concept for all of us. The idea suggests that neural networks or pathways in the brain may remain intact, even if they were previously damaged through old age or other diseases. So if this is true, then it may be possible to restore the mind when we previously thought it was permanently impaired. If we can somehow switch on the parts of the brain that have been switched off by diseases like dementia, this could change the meaning of getting old. Consider this example. A few years ago, there was a case of a woman in the terminal stage of Alzheimer's disease who had not spoken for two years. One day, she suffered a cardiac arrest, but was then resuscitated. To everyone's amazement, she became fully conscious after the resuscitation for a few hours. She thanked everybody for all they did for her during the past years, claiming she had been consciously aware all the time, but could not talk to them. However, she died during the night from a second heart attack. So, what's happening in the brain during these moments of lucidity? Research has shown a surge in brain activity in subjects undergoing a heart attack. This surge is particularly intense in the regions of the brain associated with visual, auditory, and motion perception. Scientists believe that these same regions create our conscious experience. They are responsible for us knowing who and where we are in the world. These areas may also involve the out-of-body experiences reported by people with near-death experiences. To better explain this, think about what happens when you're dreaming. You see images, hear sounds, and even feel like you're moving. Your brain creates all these experiences. Even though your eyes are closed, there's no sound in the room and you're lying in bed. You can experience this because the regions of your brain linked to visual, auditory, and motion perception are active. Now, imagine that same kind of brain activity happening when you're close to death. This surge of brain activity may cause out-of-body experiences, which involve a feeling that you're floating outside your body and seeing yourself from a distance. It's possible that even in the face of death when the body is shutting down, the brain can still create rich, complex experiences. It's as if, in those final moments, the brain is making a last-ditch effort to stay aware and connected to the world. In another documented case, Mr. Sykes, an older man in the final stage of Alzheimer's disease, lapsed into an almost vegetative state two months before his death. He did not know where he was or recognize his wife or children. He couldn't talk coherently and gave no sign of understanding anything about his circumstances. One day, however, people close to him observed that he, in their words, sat up in bed and spoke as clear as a bell, talking just like anyone would, but not addressing us. He was looking upward with bright eyes and carrying on a conversation with Hugh. He spoke loud and clear to Hugh, sometimes laughing, but usually just conversing as though the two were sitting in a coffee shop having a chat. Mr. Sykes died later that day. It turned out that Hugh was his brother who was alive and well, but in fact, died from a heart attack right about the time that Mr. Sykes miraculously came back to life. These cases point to a lucid and alert mind behind the scenes of non-responsive bodies while we don't yet fully understand the conscious experiences of dying people, research increasingly paints a picture of death as active and complex. Even though we can explain the physiological effects of a dying brain, there are other mysteries that science can't answer. 
For example, was it a coincidence that Mr. Sykes became conscious on the same day his brother died? Maybe we can explore this in more detail in a future video. Comment below if you want to see this. So, for those with loved ones suffering from dementia or similar conditions, remember, their consciousness may still be there. And in those final moments, they may just surprise you with a glimpse of the person they once were. I hope you found this exploration of terminal lucidity as fascinating as I did. If you're still watching, please like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Until the next time.